Here you can see the kid's shackles on the sprue. Maybe you can also see that these parts are misshapen. The reason are misaligned modes. Because of that the shackles are too thick but sending them into shape would have removed too much styrene. I want to emphasize again that these issues go for this specific kit. The first Hobby Boss HST I bought came without flash and it would have been no problem to use the shackles. I looked for matching shackles but what I found was too small, too big or had the wrong shape. Again I had to scratch build items but maybe you'll benefit from my work. The first step is to bend the 1mm copper wire around a rod of an appropriate diameter. I used this all. The result is a U shape. You can use flat pliers to make the U wider or narrower just the way you need it. The short end had to be prepared for the hole I needed to drill there. I didn't change the general shape of bending it and it was easy to reverse again. The end had to be squeezed to make it wide and thin enough for the 0.6mm hole I wanted to drill. Usually I use the heat of a candle flame to soften the copper, but in this case I didn't. For me it's very difficult to control the force that has to be applied if the wire is too soft. If you can do it better than me, I recommend the candle because I had to use all the force I've got. The wire's end was 1.4mm wide and 0.8mm thick when I was finished. I sanded it a bit thinner and then I marked the hole I had to drill with the awl. You want to be careful when you do this because too much force will destroy the end. How do I know? Quite simple, it took me 7 attempts to have 4 shackles that can be used for the HST. 3 of them were garbage. After marking the hole I sanded off the resulting ridge and marked it again. I used a brand new 0.6mm drill bit and drilled slowly and carefully. If you can't see any shavings while you're drilling your drill bit is blunt and won't work. It isn't necessary to apply much force because a sharp drill bit does a job almost itself. It would break if you pressed too hard. When I use small bits I drill horizontally and support the drill bit with the thumb of my left hand. Then I cut off the excess copper above the hole with a sprue cutter. After that I filed it into the rounded shape we all know from actual shackles. The second end was done accordingly but I don't want to conceal that it was more difficult to handle. I only had the first end to hold on to. Then I bent the shackle into its final shape. It's slightly bigger than the kids shackles but I did that on purpose. You'll see why in one of the next updates on the HST. Here are two of the shackles and two pieces of 0.6mm copper wire that will serve as pins. They fit nicely and will be cut to length after attaching the shackles to the vehicle. I thought about removing the scratches that resulted from using flat pliers but then I decided to leave them. I think the latter the realism of the finished vehicle. On the box art you can see the rear shackles. And here's some dry fitting. I'm sorry for the masking tape. It partially blocks the view but at least on this pic you can see that the pin goes all the way through. It took about 10 minutes to make one shackle. In my opinion it was worth it because now I've got exactly the shackles I need for the build. We can buy many items but now and then there are things we need and we can't buy. Looking for a way to build them and coming up with a result you're happy with is one of the most rewarding moments in modeling. I'd be glad if you could make good use of this short video. There are more parts that can be built with this technique and maybe you come across one for which you can't find an aftermarket item. That's all folks.